We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, or U.S. territories in the Pacific. That is the judgment of our Nuclear Regulatory Commission and many other experts. Furthermore, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and public health experts do not recommend that people in the United States take precautionary measures beyond staying informed. And going forward, we will continue to keep the American people fully updated because I believe that you must know what I know as president. Complete and utter bullshit. Um, for start off with a, a thank you to Potter Blog. I'll link you to his uh, recent video below uh, where he tested the uh, radiation in the rain in the uh, St. Louis area, I believe it was. And I questioned him about a resource uh, in California that was testing radiation because we know the EPA has, you know, s raised safe limits and taken away uh, our right to see any information. So anyway, he referred me to enviroporter.com and I want to read this horrifying portion of a post which I will link you to below. Even more concern for the West Coasters. Um, got friends out there and there's humans out there and you're getting radiated. Uh, anyway, High radiation readings in Santa Monica and Los Angeles during a recent 42-day period from late December to late January strongly suggest that radiation is increasing in the region. The radiation detected by this reporter and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency separate from each other using different procedures does not appear to be a natural uh, in origin. The EPA's radiation station is high atop an undisclosed building in Los Angeles while the reporter's detection location is near uh, West LA border. Both stations registered over 5.3 times normal, though the methods of sampling and detection differed. The videotaped Santa Monica sampling and testing allowed for the detection of alpha and beta radiation, while the sensitive EPA instrument detected beta only, according to the government website. Scientific studies from the United Kingdom and Europe show that seawater infused with radiation of the sort spewing out of Fukushima can travel inland from the coast up to 300 kilometers. These mobile poisons include cesium-137 and plutonium-239 with a half-life of 24,400 years. Now, what Obama told you is that nothing was coming here. What's coming here will kill you. And it's a concern to me as a human, it's a concern to me as someone that eats a lot of the food grown in California. This radiation is sucked into the ground up to 300 kilometers inland through a lot of the growing area. When you go in any farther than that, you're in desert, okay? Uh, a lot of growing near the coast, or at least where I was in the central coast area. Uh, this is a big deal on top of Obama being a blatant liar. We, I mean, this is premeditated murder. This man is committed by withholding this information. He told you to stay informed. He hasn't made the information available. I'll try my best to. Um, anyway, so I'm going to link you to the post I read from. You can read the whole thing. It'll explain buckyballs and <laughs> well, why that's important. You need to know that. That's uh, This is craziest. And again, I'll link you to Potter Blog's most recent video. It's in the middle of the country. Um, high levels in the rain, as always. And I'll also link you to my website where you can check out other ways to detox from this naturally. Much love. Stay safe. Share the information. If you're in the central part of the country, Kansas, and otherwise, be safe.